explode. I'm the immortal in a vase, and I've lived in this vase since seclusion for thousands of years. And if it weren't for a klutz like you, I'd probably have chilled out another few millennia more. Stop it! Are you addicted to doing that? Ah, oh, kids these days. You're a vicious beast with a thunderous temper. This vase may be an ordinary object, but with the blessings of my power, a pipsqueak like you won't be able to shake it up at all. Jim Yan? Never heard of him. Ugh, is this really the time for jokes of that quality? You're here undercover, right? Well, so am I. I'm a Cloud Knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. That Green Hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here, to spy on him. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. Uh, Mob Moons, sir, we have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent infiltrate our ranks? I... I, I couldn't have known, sir. I, I witnessed this person slay a cloud knight before my very eyes. Detestable. The devilish archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our doors. I don't think I've even said anything that revealed my identity, but either way, I'm done. Let's do this. You can come at me together. In that case, divine foresight devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. Honkai Star Rail. So, we're getting very close to getting to level 40, which means we would be able to increase the equilibrium level, which is what I'm looking forward to the most. I might be able to do it today, I might not, I'm not sure. Anyway, I messed with some Sambo. Hello, good friend. Do you require any financial management services? I have a line of products that can help with that. They're so versatile and robust. You can recoup your investment in one cycle. Any interest? What kind of new scam are you pulling this time? The Sambo kind? <laughs> You're funny. This is purely an investment plan. It's very stable. You can send me some money and try it out. If you lose money, I'll pay you back. How about that? I want to, but I have no money. You should have led with that. I have other business to attend to. Catch up soon. Rude. Anyway, Tan Tan, what's Accidents up? Accidents only take one second to happen, but the pain can last a thousand years. The cherished wife and obey law. Oh, it's you again. The Palace of Astrium sent me. You're the person sent by the Palace of Astrium to experience being a Starskip speed tester, aren't you? Hold this, we're starting soon. Don't I need training? Stand on the bridge and hold on to the counter, then look down and count how many Starskips go past in a set. Once you're done, just tell me the count. That's easy. Are you saying that counting skips on the bridge is not challenging enough? Now do you know what kind of work I've been doing all this, all this time? So, the position of Starskip Speed Tester is known by everyone in the Palace of Astrum. As the bottom of the occupational pecking order, anyone who got sent here for a day experience would think that this job is an insult to their intelligence and skills. Why do we need someone to supervise when we could just deploy an Indium to measure the speed and issue a ticket? Most people are just judging the job based on first impressions. Statistics can, of course, be done by a machine, but when there is trouble, it is, it is still necessary to rely on humans like us. How about this? To give you an idea about how troublesome this job is, 
let's have a small quiz. Star skiffs of different colors and models will pass through the lanes in Star Skiff Haven. You will need to remember the model and colors of all star skiffs that pass by within the spe specified time period, and I will ask you questions at the end. For example, I might ask, How many blue passenger star skiffs went past? That should add some challenge to the experience. What do you think? We can start once you're ready. Okay. Uh, oh, am I doing it now? One... Okay, two blue, one white, three blue, two white, one orange, three white. According to your observation counting, only those that passed under the bridge, how many were white? Three. That's right, the answer is three. Pay attention to traffic. I think we can try again. The more we try, the better we can see how efficient this is. Let's do it. All right, two blue, three blue, four blue. The traffic accident has been caused. Yeah, no shit. Do you see how fast that guy just went? Like, damn. Luckily, we got here in time. I contact the Alchemy Commission's Apocalypse, and an emergency dispatch will be here soon. Is there anything I can do? I need you to look for injured passengers, contact their families, and help the healers from the Alchemy Commission with the medevac. And now, I've got a perp to chase. You might be able to use this de use this detain, so hold on to this for now. No problem, leave it to me. I'll leave it here. Ow. Oh my. Oh dear. Young lass, I'm doing fine. No way you're doing fine in a serious traffic accident like this. I I'm really fine. Dang it. I must have strained my back or something. Do you have any family you can contact? Family? I don't have any family. Ow! Young lass, could you help me look for my notes? That's worth more than my life. We can look for them in a bit. No, I'm gonna lose my job if I lose those notes. Come on, young lass, help me out. My notes are really important. I'll handle it. I'll look nearby. Please help old May out here. I can't remember these things anymore. My notes are all I have. Well, D-Tang, let's see if we can find them. Looks like there's one right here. Detailed notes about the business hours of grocery stores, the prices of different grocery items, dietary restrictions, and more are densely packed in the scattered pages. A contact number is listed in the notes. Do you happen to know Mai? Are you her relative? Uh, you got the wrong person. I'm not related to a Mai. But I did. I do know her. Did something happen? I didn't see her today. Everyone so far has to save a good piece of meat for her. There's been an accident. Really? Oh no. If there's anything I can do, let me know. Hmm. Detailed notes about the business hours of cloud breathe sweet sleeves that's god something else is about to come out mix and match of different clothing styles and more densely packed and scattered pages the contact number is listed greetings welcome to crowd be sweet have you not have you seen an item of interest bro transfer to live support i'm afraid you might have the wrong person bro Did we get bamboozled? I don't know, Jonah. Did you? Seems only half of a contact number is written in the notes. Did you hear? 
detailed notes. Well, I have the second half. Do you happen to know Mai? Are you her relative? I'm her employer. Did something happen to Mai? Uh, just a little accident. But she seems to be fine now. The Alchemy Commission's team of healers was able to, to get on site quickly. A traffic accident? Okay, where is she now? I'll be right over. However, the Assetta Butterfly Mercy is a bit busy right now. I might not be able to make it in time, but I'll try to get there right away. Sorry to have troubled you so far. May I have your name? My name is Jupiter. Alright, I'll be right there. You should return May's notes to her when there's a chance. My, May, I, uh. I always look at it and I'm like, is it my? Is it May? I think it's May. Right? Because my was what the protagonist of Death and a Request was named. I think she had an A in her name. You know, with this quest being called Fired, I hope that this girl isn't going to become fired because she got into an accident. Are you Jupiter Free? The person who contacted me? Has my already let Stosk left Stosk of Haven? You should head to the Alchemy Commission of Pocketry right away. No rush. May should get treated first, and I should meet you in person. I brought some Zinjo snacks on the way here as a small thank you present. Please take them. Thank you so much for all you've done for a complete stranger. Can you tell me what happened here? I see. She doesn't use the Jade Abacus and has no relatives, so I'm the right person for you to contact. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have known about this. Mai doesn't have any family, and she's been working as a housekeeper for a long time. And I'm her current employer. May not be the brightest, and may not even, and maybe even slightly dense in the head. She's good at menial labor, but memory is not her forte. She keeps getting the wrong groceries. Why are you bad mouthing her? I'm not bad mouthing her. I'm just concerned for her. Sometimes she can't even communicate on a basic level, and I would have to repeat the same sentence a few times before she understood it. Being the way she is, she won't be able to handle the compensation on her own after getting into an accident like this. I'll need to settle the compensation for her. If things were left to her alone, it would just fizzle out in the end. You treat your housekeeper pretty well. To be honest, I was originally wanting to dismiss her today. Damn! It had been on my mind for a while now, if it weren't for this accident. You can't kick her while she's down. I hate that there's this an option. It's like, oh yeah, go ahead, fire her. That's right. This is not the right time to do so. Actually, I wasn't super satisfied when I hired her. I only hired her because she was... Uh, and I asked you for a little price. For one, after ruining her experience, I also thought I'd give her a try as an act of charity. Her memory and hearing implement aside, she's rather simple-minded and has difficulty distinguishing between praises and, and admonishments. Sometimes I get to separate her and scold her, but she always laughs it off. The words just go into one ear and out the other for her, and she eventually repeats the same mistakes. Which makes me even more upset. I can't stand this vicious cycle anymore. It's not that bad. I'm only an average citizen who wants better housekeeping service. I just want to get a new housekeeper like everyone else. Someone I can have an eyes easier time communicating with. That's not asking too much, is it? Well, I mean, you're kind of being a little unfair to her. I mean, it's not like she asked to be born this way. I've tried so many times over the years to change her out for a different housekeeper, but I just couldn't let go of her affordability, and sometimes I feel like it's too much of a hassle to make the change. But most of the time, I feel like May would, would not be hired by anywhere else. If I dismissed her, she would have nowhere to turn to. She might even struggle just to stay alive. Then just stop paying her and have her live in your home. I want to handle May's compensation for her before having a talk with her. Hopefully to the point, I'd still have the same resolve as I do today. You seem like someone who's knowledgeable about many things. Do you have good suggestions on how to handle this? I would suggest that you don't fire her. Is that so? I will take that into consideration. I guess I will stay at this dilemma for a while. 
don't let me take up any more of your time. I need to head toward the Alchemy Commission Apography. Let's catch up later. Thank you for your effort. Jupiter Free, Miss uh, Jikui, give me your contact details. I'm Tan Tan. I have to ask this. Has the victim already left the scene? The Alchemy Commission's healers arrived on site and already took May away. Do you have May's contact details? The speeding star skip is already gone, and I want to ask the victim for details about the star, star skip responsible for this. I'll try to get in touch, but don't get your hopes up. Okay, I've talked with the Skyfaring Commission. Soon there will be further investigations or any other clues at the scene. I don't like how I kind of mid burped while talking. I had better send this text. Uhi, I want to ask you something. Are you at the Alchemy Commission yet? The Skyfaring Commission has some questions for May. I had just arrived and heard some people at Alchemy saying that May has left when no one was looking. Oh, this girl is so obstinate and stubborn. I asked around and found out there were some missing pages from... or some notes. May seems determined to find them. You have a few pages with you, right? I found her notes at the accident site and found your contact details. I had taken leave for this, but things are... But, but things are set... Things on such are pretty busy. I have to go back now. I can't just run around following her everywhere. I already paid for her medical bill, so please tell her to go back to the apothecary as soon as possible, please. You're here. I found some witnesses at the scene, but it seems like the evidence is not complete. Did you manage to contact my... May... God, just get it right. May's returned to the scene. Is she made of iron? She was just in an accident. Anyway, we should hurry up and ask for clues about the incident. Then arrange for someone to send her back to the apothecary. Let's ask May first before we look for other witnesses to, for their accounts. It's you. I remember you, young lass. Did you find my notes? Thank you. There they are. I can't lose them. Alright, did you happen to see Miss Luhi? Luhi? I made trouble for her again. She's worried about you. Is that so? I'm good. I even got discharged. She doesn't need to worry about me. I can't let Miss Weehu worry about me. She has many important things to worry about. Sorry to interrupt, I am Tan Tan, sweet tester from the Skyfaring Commission. I would like to ask you about the incident. The Skyfaring Commission? Does this need to involve the Skyfaring Commission? Nothing happened and I feel fine. There's no incident. We should find the perpetrator to compensate you for your injury. I don't want it. There's no need. <laughs> I'm alright. Mighty fine. Madam, I'm seriously trying to ask about the traffic incident. Please, Sky Fairy Commission boss, have mercy. I don't want to cause any more trouble for Miss Wuha. Let's pretend this never happened. Madam, please cooperate. Please cooperate with the Sky Fairy Commission. Young lass. Okay, I will do what you want me to do. I see you have some things to discuss. We sold that thought. Let's complete the investigation first. Did you manage to see the offending star Starskiff? I blacked out. I didn't see anything when I got thrown outside. It could be a blue Starskiff, but it could also be yellow. How did the collision happen? I was just boarding a Starskiff. I didn't even get to tie my safety belt when I heard a loud bang from behind. Then I flew out. This is all I know. I remember hearing a cracking sound. Is the scar skip damage? I don't need to pay for that, do I? Do you remember anything else? I remember a discount at the roasted chicken store today. Miss Wheel, who has always, always liked these unhealthy foods, it's been a while since she had any, so I wanted to buy some for her. I can't remember anything else. There's nothing we can use from her statement. Let's just go and ask other witnesses. A small rotten food comes from the courier package. The bill writes, Please ship my purchase as soon as possible. I have starved for three days. 
Unfortunately, the food is stuck here because of some accident. You wonder how the poor guy who has starved for three days is faring. From the looks of it, the package might have contained a bowl of fried rice. You can replace it with another bowl if you wish. You write down the recipient's address and find a clean carrier package to put fresh food in. Then you book a random carrier crane to, to collect it. Hopefully, this meal will help. Will help put the. Will just help the poor stranger. A tattered carrier package is left abandoned on the ground. The bright red stamp of returned on the bill signifies its fate. 999 Jingming Mavu Rose. Roses is written on the goods column. The expensive flowers quietly, laying quietly to the tattered carrier package reflect the love life of the sender. You open the pitiful package and the letter falls out and slips in between your fingers. A refreshing and present scent wafts from your paper, from the paper, and you can't help but reading it. Chen, I hope that everything goes well on your side, although you aren't around. I can always feel your presence by my side. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, it's sad. Oh no, they're dead. Or they're not, I don't know. You fold the weber and it seems like the breeze has an exclamation mark too. So it starts gaining intensity. Sadly, what the writer receives is simply in the bright red returns stamp. Oh, well, it goes. Damn. Goodbye to that. Song Lotus cake. Did you hear it? Hello, I'm Tan Tan, speed tester from the Skyframe Commission. I contacted you earlier. I would like to ask you about the traffic incident. Well, I heard a thud and ran outside. Seeing that person on the ground, I looked over toward the Scar Skiff lane, but I didn't see anything. The Scar Skiff, Star Skiff had already explained. Please try your best to recall what happened. I was quite a distance away at the time. I only heard noises like thud, crash, whoosh, and clang. Very descriptive sounds, so what happened next? Yeah, I don't remember hearing that. My hearing has always been great. I didn't make those up. I heard the engine sound of an offending star skiff. It was loud and different from ordinary star skiffs. Thank you for your cooperation. Did we get bamboozled? Hmm. It would have to be somebody else that I could inqu that the game would say inquire, yeah. Test pure wrap, song lotus cake, guaranteed delicious. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Tan Tan, speed tester for the Skyframe Commission. I contacted you earlier. I would like to ask you about the traffic incident. I don't remember you. When I ran up to the speeding cigar skiff, you were behind me. When the incident happened, I immediately sprinted like I'd never before. I had just had to race that star skiff that knocked someone down. Honestly, I just like the co the commotion. It has been since young. Did you see the star skiff's registration plate? Right, that star skiff registration plate. That's right, that's right. I memorized it. Well, what was it? Uh, 256, 257, 282931? I forgot! I remember that it disappeared after I pursued it to the crossroad. Did you happen to see which way it went? Yes, the crossroad. Uh huh, uh huh. You reminded me. It made a right turn there. I remember that very clearly. Direction of Stargazer Navalny, uh huh? Thank you for your cooperation. The report from the Skyframe Commission says that the that the crane captured something after you settled. Test pure wrap, song lotus cake, uh. guaranteed delicious. Sorry, I couldn't help much. Once I get the notes, I need to head back and continue to work. Thank you, young lass. We he will get upset to see you rushing back to work like this. It's okay if she's upset. She's always upset. But if you act nice with her and don't talk back to her, she will naturally cool down. I'm used to it. You're not as dumb as you seem then. She has no time to worry about me. She's a huge producer who commends a film set with hundreds of people working. She's so capable. I should stop chatter chatting chattering about it and go to the apothecary so other people won't worry about me. Young lass, go ahead and get busy. Goodbye, young lass. I ain't about to tell her that she was gonna get fired, okay?
God, I wish the vent in the room would turn off already. That shit is always on 24-7. New job application forms? I was a young lady. What can I do for you? I've heard all about it from Tan Tan. I didn't expect you to have a traffic accident only half a day as a speed tester. Isn't it a town of some people to be able to show up every time an accident happens? Wouldn't you say so? I like your sense of humor. Well, if it's a talent, it must be put to good use. This pilot dares to speed at a place just outside the Palace of Astrum. They have no respect for the Skyfaring Commission. You and Tantan have done an investigation on the field. If we match the, the crane footage, we should be able to find the star skiff that caused the accident soon. Which crane footage do you want to see first? The photo is more useful. You can see different star skips going on different locations. Have you found what, where the offending star skiff went? From this angle, the colors of different star skips are obvious. I don't know how much eyewitness testimony you got. From this angle, it seems that there was a problem with the star skip's engine. It doesn't look at the original engine, like it's been illegally modified. I'll leave this to you in Tan Tan. Uh, where is he? Why is he all the way up here? I just bought a new star skip. It's time to find the offending star skiff. Through your inquiry and my investigation, we got some testimonies. With these testimonies and the crane footage, we should be able to find the star skiff we're looking for. I already know what happened. Which is the offending star skiff in the picture? Oh, crap, what do they mean though? My le- Okay, wait, wait, wait. The first one from the left. The picture's left. This would be one, two, three, four, right? We're going, the one on the far left is the first one, and the one that's under the bridge is the second. Tell me I'm doing it correctly. Because this could also mean the left of where the star skips are pointing. Fourth one. All right, let me check the star skips record. Okay, it's backwards. No, I know what it is, asshole! Uh, I know which one it is. Don't piss me off. I'm not even gonna read your dialogue. You made me mad now. Shut up. I know which one it is. All because you decided to be... Hello, miss. I'm standing right here. How dare you? This is the Palace of Astrum, the private hub for the Skyfaring Commission where important affairs are handled. You can't just muck about here. What are you doing back here? Didn't I warn you last time not to mess around with official documents? But that's where the chest is. That's also where your pathway to prison is. Just because you said something justifiable to you doesn't change the fact that you're about to become a criminal. So you're one of those nameless men. I know exactly what people like you are up to. Wherever you go, you can't just refrain from wandering about, kicking down doors to snoop around regardless of whether the host has invited you or not. Your greatest enemy is a locked chest, and if you can't open it, you'll lose sweep wondering what's inside. No, not even a trash can is safe from your prying eyes. With any living thing you meet, you'll strike up in a conversation about everything. And if they're not re uh, re whatever to your communication attempts, you'll check if a targeting crosshair has appeared on them. If you ask me what the most terrifying threat in the universe is, it's gotta be your insatiable curiosity. As for the most fearsome creature, I'm afraid the Antimatter Legion and Abominations of Abundance both have a way to make for you. Hey, go easy on me! The man suddenly falls silent as he buries his memories deep within the shadows of his furrowed brows. I was bristling with the excitement of adventure just like you, opening up any old chest with reckless abandon. Until one day I trod on some twigs sprouting from the sacred Vornwick Forest. The laws of the forest dictate that any broken twig must be repaid in kind, with two broken ribs. How? Although my physical injury soon mended itself, psychological scars have cut deeply for the rest of my life. You're still young and don't understand the terrors of following the wrong calling. I'll keep an eye on you to help prevent you from going down that same cursed path I took. So long as you're anywhere around the Palace of Astrum, I'll be watching you, capiche? Anywhere.
Oh shit, he does. Ha! But because we're not is j no. What are you doing? Damn it. Well, I guess we can't do it. How pitiful it is. I really went to the hardest path. Legally modified its star skiff. From its appearance, it's no different from an ordinary star skiff. The keel near the bow is broken, which seems to explain the crack sound. Without a doubt, this is the prime suspect of the star skiff accident. Hey, what are you looking at? You've never seen a competition level race star skiff before, have you? Never seen a beat up vehicle like this. You are just jealous of me. My star skiff is just a little scratch, no big deal. If it weren't for those blind drivers on the lane, it would still be in perfect condition. Hello, I'm Tan Tan. A law enforcement officer at the Skyfaring Commission who manages lane safety. Here's my ID. You were suspected of being involved in a traffic violation and illegal star skiff modifications. By law, we will confiscate this star skiff and return it after the investigation ends. I'll believe you when I see the evidence. Where is the rule of law? Do you have any evidence to prove that? There we go. This is my star skiff. I was just bluffing. Didn't think you've heard of this hard evidence. The Skyfaring Commission only sent you to catch me, right? I didn't think you would actually succeed. I don't think you will succeed in your mission. Stop them, bucket of bolts! Cause every night I will save your life